the fuck is up, juggalos and juggalettes, motherfuckos and motherfuckettes? It's that juggalo vlog, that motherfucker that's blowing up, blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. <laughs> We're going to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. So, if you check out that juggle vlog about the day that my life changed when the Wraith Shangri-La came out. During this time when I was experiencing the Dark Carnival and everything was turning and twisting and fucking punching me in the fucking face of mad freshness, man. My life was changing as I as I as I can't, I can't even put words together, motherfucker. I, I was right there in that cuss of like, like digging, digging through, listening to the OG six, you know, just digging and deep in that psychopathic library, man. And all of a sudden I had this one dude, I, I call him my, uh, my juggalo Yoda, juggalo, juggalo Yoda. Mm, whoop, whoop, motherfucker, whoop, whoop. But one day he's like, you like ICP, right? I was like, I love ICP. I'm just all this shit. Bam. He goes, you like Twisted? Twisted. He goes, you like Blaze? I was like, OG oh, Blaze. And he's like, what if I told you there was a super group? And I was like, tell me more. Tell me more. He goes, there's this thing called Dark Lotus. And... He gave me to see Tales from the Lotus Pod, and this is the version with Mars, and this is the only version I can ever listen to. Sorry, ABK. I'm just letting you know. No offense. Mm -mm. But he gave me Tales from the Lotus Pod, the red cross on it, man. He gave me the CD. I bought it immediately after I borrowed the CD. Um, and just going in, and the Alibaba to... Um, uh, call upon your God, uh, bad rap, just, uh, give me the blood, give me that blood to, uh, you know, mass murder makes me happy. That album right there solidifies my entire juggaloism. That album has countlessly countlessly besides all the other fucking dope ass shit i listened to has countlessly been my go-to album uh that album has pulled me out of a bunch of dark places i have a lot of albums like that but this was that one and it got me through fucking school so you gotta know this was back because that one came out in 2001 and down 2002 when the ray dropped out and you know i i was a, i was a little mother i was a, i was still a little chubby fat little motherfucker with a small dick and trying to figure out this juggalo shit you know so as i was digging deep and and just listening and getting enthralled in this shit man dark lotus was like Oh, a breath of really super cold fresh air that just kept on punching me in the face and then Black Rain came out. Oh my God! And this uh, this version, I, I well, there's not there's only one version, dumbass. Beep. Um, ABK was on it. He was the uh, the sixth member, you know. And that uh, that album's fucking uh, so many Juggalo hits, you know, so many. You know, Lotus just kept on swinging. And then um, they it kind of just stopped for a bit. Then they're like. The OPEC Brotherhood. I was like, Lotus. I remember I skipped fucking school that day for that shit. When we had a Hastings back here, you know. Uh, over there! The, the, when we had a Hastings. I remember I uh, I called out of class. This is uh, in the OPEC Brotherhood came out. Um, they're like, where you at? Wait, was I in school? I don't fucking know. I just remember being there first thing in the goddamn morning, sitting and waiting for the OPEC Brotherhood. And I had the chance to see Dark Lotus at uh, the 2006 gathering of the Juggalos. And they had the um, uh, yin and yang face paint with the, you know, with the bomb ass robes they were wearing. They were wearing swords. And I remember geeking out because I was like, Lotus! Oh, God. It's hot in this motherfucker. Just like you know. That's why I have my shirt off. But there's a reason. Um... And the the latest album was it was fucking tight, but I I gotta say, out of all the Dark Lotus releases, my favorite will always and forever be 
Tales from the Lotus Pod. Tales from the Lotus Pod, The Red Cross with Mars. That album there is so fucking tasty. You can sizzle that motherfucker and just put it up. So, you know, every time I talk about being a juggalo to people and this and that, they're like, what can I get? What, what, what should I listen to? Usually I'm like, here's some Dark Lotus. Take it. Take it. Just just go listen. Listen. The, the fucking magic is there, man. The fucking, you know, this. I love Dark Lotus so fucking much. That's why it breaks, it breaks my heart. That, you know, they, they there's that saying, never say never. But at the moment, we'll never get another Dark Lotus album again. And... I got the feels. I got the feels. You know, and this is how much this shit means to me, man. There's my, uh, my, my, my Lotus. This was my first, no way, I take that back. That was my first tattoo. This is my second tattoo that I got. And the, I remember the guy was like, what do you want? I was like, I want the Lotus Cross. I like that. It was, that was in my mind. I was like, I know what I want and I want it now. I want the Lotus Cross. So we got the Lotus blooming on the top. We got the cross. We got some smoke going around it. We got a little bit of purple nance. And I was just like, yeah, yeah. So usually I, that's the first tattoo I show off because everyone's like, oh, you got that one there. I got a carnival of carnage on my leg. I got the super villains tattoo. I got a uh, sugar wolf. Right here as a badge. Um, this is an Avengers tattoo. You know, I look at it. It's kind of shit. But you know, that's that. Dark Lotus is everything to me. Just like everything else in this in this crazy juggalo world that I fell into back in 2002. Like my ass just went blue. And I was just discovering shit and just falling in love and the magic, the fucking magic of, of it all. And that album solidifying like, yo, welcome to the fucking Dark Carnival, bitch. You know, just like the OG6, yo. You know, so I had to show some love for Lotus because I was, uh, I was kind of stumped about what blog, I, blog, <laughs> damn, motherfucker, about what vlog I wanted to do today. Because I was like, man, what, what can I talk to the, talk about to the ninjas? You know, I still got a couple of reviews I need to do. But I was like, you know what? And, I, and Lotus came on. It was like, call upon your God came on. And I, I played us. I was like, I need to talk about how important that shit is to me. So here I am. And thank y'all for fucking listening. And thank y'all for sharing. And thank you, Carnival Spirits, for giving me some love in this motherfucker. But yeah, Lotus, man. Oh, God. Never say never. Never say never. Hopefully one day, Riders, Lotus, and my favorite, one of my favorite stories is when the Opec Brotherhood came out. They're like, man, fuck that six spot. Six spot can go fuck itself, you know? And um, I, 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 Lotus is something so special in the psychopathic history. It will forever be solidified. And, you know, Tales from the Lotus Pod, God Damn, that album's so good, man. You know, and if I had to rate it, you know, I don't need to, but if I had to rate it, of course it's getting five whoops out of five whoops. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, God. Like I said, it's hot in here. It's fucking sweating my balls. Fucking all, psh, like water's coming down my leg or some shit. Or maybe I pissed myself, I don't know, because of all the excitement. But hi, right, ninjas. This is the <laughs> this is uh, that Juggalo vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to the podcast that drops every Saturday. Thank you for subscribing and also to the new ninjas watching. Like and subscribe. Share with the friends. Share with your grandma. Share with your daddy. Share with anybody you you can. Share with the bum fucking behind Walmart. That's who I'm gonna share this with right after. You know I'm gonna be like, here, bum. Watch this fucking vlog and get part of the fucking family, motherfucker. Cplusstudios.com. Go there. Also, T Public. We got that Juggalo Vlog shirt, and soon I will have one. And this is a Star Wars shirt, so that really doesn't help my case. But we do have them at tpublic.com at the Cplus928. So, all right, ninjas. Whoop whoop.